Hey guys, Rob here, and uh, thought I'd do another quick video. This one will be, uh, I don't know if you all uh, do the whole Black Friday thing or what, but uh, they had this on uh, Walmart Black Friday. This is a Hart 6 gallon stainless steel wet dry vac, and it's 6 gallon, 5 uh, peak horsepower. Um, it does have the stainless steel tank. And this was on the Black Friday ad for $29.97, so I ordered one. And uh, I have an old shop back that's years old, and it's 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 pretty beat up and rough, and it's on its last legs. And I thought, you know, for $29, bucks, uh, i am going to give this a try. And it says powerful motor, 200 uh, air watts max. Complete vac organization with onboard hose, cord, and accessory storage. And what it comes with is a, a powerful 5 uh, peak horsepower motor, 8 foot power cord with cord storage, built in hose and accessory storage, premium stainless steel tank, and locking accessories. So you get two 1 and 7 8 inch extension one. Uh, the 1 and 7 8 inch utility nozzle, a 1 and 7 8 inch crevice tool, and the a 6 foot 1 and 7 8 inch hose, a foam wet filter, and a reusable cloth filter. So, let's uh, unbox this thing and see what it looks like. I had no intention of really buying anything on Black Friday, but this was like... 29 bucks for a shop back. I mean, so when you open the box, you get your your manual, and uh, it's just a a shop back manual. Nothing nothing fancy about it. I, I do see the what that way they cut the cost. I mean, some of the the bigger vacuums come with a few more accessories. You get like a squeegee brush. Uh, the pipes on these are very heavy made, and to lock them together, they looks like they lock good and tight. You get you got a thumb thumb button there. I don't know if you I'm getting that in frame. Locks together good, so that's a plus. You won't have your uh, when you're trying to stretch your uh, trying to reach that last little corner you can't get to. So inside the box there, we have the vacuum itself. Now the blue and white of the heart is kind of a got a big, big on-off switch. So, and I guess your cord storage is uh, here to here, maybe. I'll have to look. So anyway, to unlock it, you got these uh, big locks on the side, and they push in. So you push in, unlike some that pull out, this seems like this would... Okay, so it doesn't come with the paper filter like, like the more expensive version. It just comes with this cloth filter bag. So that's one of the ways they cut cost. Inside here, you do have your your hose and it's nice diameter and it does lock on there so when you put it in and turn it it locks in this does rotate so it rotates and inside you have your crevice tool your floor tool this is just like to pick up sawdust or something so you don't get a uh, you don't get a squeegee for this one, which kind of sucks. I mean, I think a wet and dry vac would have the little squeegee attachment. So, and then you have your casters. So, let's uh, the tank is stainless. Looks to be. Probably about as thick as a coffee can. 
nothing thick about that. It's not a heavy grade stainless by any means. So, yeah, I'm kind of seeing the difference in the ones, the more expensive ones they have uh, that I've watched some reviews on in this one. It's, uh, I can see where they, uh, excuse me, I can see where they cut their cost at. So to install your casters, you simply just it up there. Those are press fit and they are tied. Uh, I don't know what the little chain's for. I have no idea what that would be for. Maybe that locks the bottom to the base. I'm not sure what that would be for. Yeah, these wheels are definitely very tight press fit. Let's uh let's grab these uh big new cobalt uh, channel locks I bought the other day. See if that makes the job any easier. Oh yes, that's that's what you need right there. That's a trick right there, big chan pair of channel locks and they squeeze right on. strap around your cord to uh, do your cord up with and you have your foam filter to use when you use it as a, a wet back and I will have to put that somewhere where I won't lose it and stick it right there in that cup so anyway so let's see how this thing stores I guess your your larger Score up top here, and then your your onboard tool store around the side, or maybe this is for. Looks like that might work. You can make it work like that. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to be, but let's take a look at our manual. See if that's the way it says to do it. If I can find the part that shows how to store it. Well, apparently there's a uh, there's no way it shows how it stores. Let's see if it shows on the box. No, it doesn't show. So anyway, guys, that's uh, that's probably the way I'll store it. So anyway, 
just thought I'd bring you along and give you a look at this. It's $29 at uh, Walmart. Uh, if you all know how this is supposed to go, uh, leave me a message because that may not be how it's supposed to go. Looks reasonable, but you know. Anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody for watching and uh, taking a look at this uh, $29 heart tool. And if you don't know about heart tools, it's the newest brand they got at Walmart. Uh, they're actually produced by TTI, a, a, a big tool company. Uh, they make uh, Milwaukee. They make Ryobi. If you look at uh, Ryobi stuff, uh, Ryobi makes a uh, shop back that's very, very, very similar to this. So, uh, more than likely, it's just a rebranded Ryobi. Uh, so, if you know anything about Ryobi, they've been making tools for years and have pretty good... Uh, uh, make pretty good quality tools maybe not up to you know a a professional grade uh, you know a contractor grade but uh, some of their stuff probably is but you know a lot of it's more toward the home motor homeowner uh, hobbyist uh, you know you know somebody who's not using this stuff constantly so anyway guys, uh, just a quick look and unboxing at the Hart 6 gallon stainless steel uh, vacuum that they had on uh, Black Friday for $29.97 or whatever it was. So I uh, think it's a pretty good deal for what you got. If the floor was dirty I'd uh, show you but I just cleaned it up. Uh, so maybe we'll come back and uh, do a, a video on uh, using it here at a later time. Anyway, guys, I thank everybody for watching and taking the time and uh, liking my videos and uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Until the next one, we'll see you later.